Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. And there's a hysteria about the, the starting delivery of the Tesla Model Y. And the Tesla Model Y um, uh, owner's manual was also uh, released. And I think to me, as a person who lives in a cold state, New Jersey, people who live in cold state will find this information much more important than anything else. And I am so ecstatic to find out that the Model Y will have a heat pump uh, for the he uh, heating and cooling uh, system. Now, a heat pump is a huge deal, huge. Uh, and it's going to contribute, and of course, when I'll have my Model Y, I will test it in real time. Uh, it's going to contribute to, uh, greatly to uh, a real world range. Uh, I make so many long trips, and I can tell you, uh, that a uh, real world range is very different than what it says and heat pump can explain um, before I tell you what real world range is because I have the model 3 uh, let me tell you how important the heat pump is now as you know gasoline cars they waste a lot a lot of energy because the way the system is electric cars use many of them use resistive heat systems uh, which basically it's like the coils they heat and then they send it through the vents. It's very efficient, but it takes tremendous amount of energy from the battery. Now, a heat pump is different. Here's the quote from the owner's manual. The Model Y uses heat pump to maximize efficiency. Therefore, your air conditioning compressor and external fan may run and make noise even when the outside temperature is cold and your vehicle is heating or supercharging. A heat pump is basically, it's intake and outtake, it's it's separate. I'm going to show you a, this diagram and uh, line number two, it shows you where the heat pump uh, is. Uh, that is a tremendous advantage. Now, Japanese cars like the Nissan Leaf that I had for, for four, five years almost, I use heat pump and my Nissan Leaf had the best heating system that I ever had. My vault, which is parked right next to me here, uh, that has resistive heat and it, it's, it just stinks. All right, so having a heat pump is very, very important. So um, let me tell you a little bit why the heat pump is, is, is better. Essentially, the only energy cost here is the cost of pumping fluid from one part of the car to the other. The fluid picks up uh, heat from one space uh, then leaves uh, that heat into another heat exchanger where the climate control system blows uh, the heat into the cabin. Perfect. Perfect. It's really, really great. Uh, and it's really, really a great advantage. Now, the, uh, the rated range of the Tesla Model Y uh, dual motor will be 316 miles and for the performance around 15 miles. It's the same thing. Now, what real world range? In this car, the Model 3, which I made so many long trips, in cold weather, and I'm talking 32 degrees Fahrenheit to maybe 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero degrees Celsius to minus 10, minus 15 or so, uh, you lose conservatively uh, 30%. So if you charge it to 100 miles, to, sorry, to 300 miles, the real world range is 200, maybe 220. In extreme weather, which I experienced once in New York City when the temperature was... I think zero degrees Fahrenheit, you lose 50% of your range because of the tremendous stress on uh, heating the cabin and using the battery. Now a heat pump can help tremendously. I remember my Nissan Leaf, which has a rated range of 87 miles, got 87 miles all the time. Bitter winter. It's a great, great system. I think to me, to me, as a cold weather person, if you live in Florida or Southern California, it doesn't matter to you. But in, 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 to people who live in cold weather, this is the best news that we got. This heat pump news. It's in, so, <laughs> I cannot even tell you how important that is, uh, that you have a heat pump uh, in your car. So that's where I'm, now we will, we shall see. Now, obviously, uh, uh, in cold weather, this will, in hot weather, this will help too. But, 
the, the tremendous stress during cold weather is by far more than in hot weather. The hot weather, car, electric cars perform very, very well. Now, Tesla say use the, uh, the heated seats. Uh, that's nice if it's not too cold. But uh, if it's very, very cold, it's just not enough. You, your, your hands will freeze. So you, you will need uh, to heat the cabin. Now, one last thing, if you can do it while your car is plugging, preheat it for 20 minutes. That always, always helps. But having this heat pump to me is the biggest news. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you tomorrow.